Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about three movies. Um, so it's Amistad, The Cause, and Django Unchained. So the first movie is Amistad, and this movie starts off with um, a group of slaves, and they like hijack a ship, um, and like they hijack and they try to find, like they try to sail their way back to Africa, but they end up actually sailing to the United States. <laughs> And at first they're considered like runaway slaves because they were trying to uh, they were trying to escape, but then during uh, there's there's like a trial held to try to decide what they want to do with the slaves, like whether they're gonna be like resold, like auctioned or set free, and um, they find out that sorry about my dog they find out that um, they were actually illegally kidnapped from a Portuguese ship and so eventually they are um set free um so the movie tells like the the whole movie just kind of tells the story of the passengers that were on the ship and like it tells what they had to go through what it was like um being uh kidnapped and then being sent being like sailing to america and just kind of being treated like as property throughout the whole film rather than as people and there is an important character in the movie which his name is sink and he's like the leader of the slaves that were on the ship um, and he also tells, like, his own story about him being captured and everything. And it just kind of, like, the point of the movie is for them to, like, share their story and it keeps their experience alive. So, like, it's not forgotten. Um, myth and ritual in the movie, um, as they, like, retell their stories, there are a few, like, African, like, there are some cultural elements that they go through. So, like, African rituals, um, African dances, and African burials. And this, like, also shows, like, the contrast between the American culture and the African culture. Um, the cause. So this is the second, um, film. And this one is, like, uh, different than the first movie. It's more of a documentary. So there's not a lot of, like, drama- dramatiz- dramatization. There's not a lot of dramatization or, like, storytelling. It's more, like, um, kind of, like talks about the facts of slavery like why it started um how it started and stuff like that it's not really it doesn't really have like the emotional appeal that much of like a film where they like tell the story of a specific character and this is the first part of a nine part series so there's eight more parts after this one and it's just kind of like yeah like an overview on like the topic of slavery rather than like a film or like a movie where like it's not it doesn't tell a story um, but there is some myth and ritual elements. Um, the the film, The Cause, talks about like uh, Harriet Tubman and like Abraham Lincoln and their role um, in the entire like slavery thing. So Harriet Tubman and Abraham Lincoln are kind of seen like as heroes because of what they did. Excuse me, because of what they did like um, to help slaves and to try to prevent slavery. So for example, like Harriet Tubman, she did the underground railroad so like that's heroic because she definitely like risked her life like she could have died right she well she did die but like i don't know it was like putting her in danger like she put herself in danger in order to get the chance to help others and same thing with abraham lincoln like he all like he was not afraid to be open about his opinion that slavery was wrong and that he didn't like 100 percent agree with it and there is some ritual so like for the underground railroad there was like a whole system that the slaves like had to go through in order to be able to escape like they had to know secret passages and they had to know like you know like a bunch of like things so it's kind of like a ritual to be able to get in it and to be able to get out of the underground railroad alive without like you know spoiling it for everybody else um and then we have the last movie which is Django Unchained. So this is a Quentin Tarantino film and it is considered a western. And like kind of like a lot of other Quentin Tarantino films, this film does kind of have like um the what's that word? It starts with an M. A motif. It has like a motif of revenge. So at first, uh we have Django who's a um, He's a slave, but he's freed by Dr. King Schultz. And so Schultz needs his help in identifying, like, three uh, fugitives who were actually Django's owners. 
and um so Django helps him and then the doctor offers him he's like if you'll be my partner for the winter then after that we can go find your wife and your kids and whatever and they find out and like okay so Django agrees and so they work together for sorry they work together during the winter and um they're actually successful as a partnership and then once the winter's over they set out to go find um Django's wife but they realize or they learn that she's actually being held captive at um Candyland Plantation which is led by um Calvin so they come up with this plan to like pretend to want to they pretend to be interested in one of Calvin's uh Mandingo fighters but one of his slaves like finds out their plan that like they're just trying to get um Django's wife Bruhilda back so there's like a shootout um once Calvin is informed and um Django is recaptured and he's sold but when he's on his way to like wherever he's like sold to he tells the men like oh if you help me kill the people in my handbill like I'll pay you a lot of money and so they like fall for it and they end up letting him go but as soon as they like let him go he kills them and he gets um he gets Bruhilda's papers from Dr. Uh, Schultz's body and then he's able to um go back and rescue her and then he just burns down the plantation and um so that's pretty much what happened in the movie so for myth and ritual um so Bruhilda the is the wife Django's wife and it's actually a, like a German myth or like a folktale um about a princess who's like trapped on a mountain or not trapped but like she's on a mountain with like a dragon surrounded by fire and like I guess she's waiting for like her prince charming to come save her which kind of sounds a lot like Shrek but um yeah so like Django saves Bruhilda in the same way that um Bruhilda is like waiting to be saved in the in the myth in the German myth and um throughout the film we find that Calvin which is the Candyland plantation owner he like genuinely thinks that um there's like a, an anatomical or biological difference between like slave owners and their slaves so i mean this isn't like mystic or anything but it's kind of like it's like a myth like obviously that's not true but like in his reality to him like that's a thing and then um a ritual which is i mean i guess it could kind of be considered a ritual in like slave like slave owner culture uh, is Mandingo fighting, which is where slaves would be forced to fight until the death. Um, so that's pretty dark. And then the last one is um, another thing with Calvin, which is also kind of like a ritual. Is like to him, if you if anybody makes a like if they're making a deal, or they come to an agreement, they have to shake hands because that like legalizes it. Um, so that's kind of like ritualistic because obviously like shaking hands is not gonna make the deal any more legitimate but in like his culture or like in his reality like based on the place where he lives and the people he's surrounded by like that's a ritual that they have when making deals but um yeah that's pretty much it for today um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye